able to evaluate and watch some film. And I love the opening of the way we came out today. And anytime you make a lineup change and you see positive results, especially with the way we had opened up at times, the majority of the time, and then today, you know, that's a good feeling. And, and it, it's a compliment uh, to our team and the way that they prepared this week. And, uh, you know, while we, while we had some letdowns, while we made some mistakes, especially in the half court, um, it's a big win, and I don't want to take that away from our young ladies. It was a big win for us today and moves us one step further along in Sunbelt play. Is that a lineup you might consider going with? Uh, why not? In the future? I mean, why not? When Jeanette Howard puts up 30 points and Vanessa, I thought, played well, um, you know, if it's not fixed, if it's not broke, why try to fix it? Uh, same thing I asked the players. Do you think that first team is, is maybe the best team to stretch you out? This year, I definitely think it is. I definitely think it is. And, you know, I'm just really proud of them for doing that. Like I said, after coming off of these five days, you just don't know. I mean, it's, it's almost, it's really the end of January. These kids, men, women, it doesn't matter. You don't want to be in the gym practicing right now. It's basketball season. You want to be playing ball. But I'm very, very proud of the way they responded and came out today. As a, as a whole, offensively, you shot 52%. Uh, do you feel like from start to finish it was probably your best offensive output? Probably. I mean, if you look at percentages. And actually, there, there are things, and we talked about this in the locker room, there were plays that we made plays when we needed to make plays. We hit a big three when we needed to hit a big three. And so, you know, that all goes back to offensive execution. And I felt like there were some really good things. And the other thing I liked about that was I changed the point position up some throughout the game with Cheney at the point, with Hope at the point. And I, I like some things that we saw there. So I, I think that's a, a big positive for us. It seemed like you know, when they would start to make a run, especially in the first half, you know, they would counter you guys encounter the same thing in the second half when they try to make another run. You guys encounter again with punches, you know, of your own, and just try to keep the lead at a, at a reasonable, uh, reasonable amount so you could stay in that lead late in the game. Just kind of talk about that. And I thought we were able to do it tonight, you know, one of two ways. I thought we were able to go inside. You know, I asked Arnika, she shot, when's the last time Arnika's gone 11 for 12 from the floor? She shot extremely well today, took good shots, was very, very focused, watched the ball go through the net. It's one thing she and I have been talking a lot about, not taking your eyes off. The, the backboard, that, that uh, corner of that square, watching the ball go through the net. You know, she shot very well, but then we complimented our inside game with really nice shooting from the perimeter. Uh, not only first, her first person from Florida, but also, you know, Janae didn't play at all against Troy. Uh, how kind of makes it a, a big difference for you guys offensively when uh, she brought the sure. I mean, we, we've seen enough that, to know that Janae Howard's a very talented basketball player. Um, and today, you know, I think you got to compliment her teammates. She had a hot hand, and they continued to find her. She continued to work hard, and, and they continued to find her and feed her the basketball. And, and 30 points, that's a nice production for a day. I mean, we've seen, some, in your coaching tenure, we've seen some 30 point shooters that have gotten on, on the roll. We've seen, you know. Well, Kinsey on. reminded Janae and I and the rest of the team that Janae only tied her record tonight was seven threes. And I remember that game. It was against Denver here at home. And Kenzie also reminded us that it only took her nine shots. So, <laughs> yes, I've seen productions like that. Uh, Leslie Logston, I mean, we can go back to my first year as head coach when Leslie Logston had 30 in the first half in the championship game of the Sun Belt Tournament. And I think she hit eight threes in that game in the first half alone with 30 points at halftime. Um, so I've seen some great productions. But it was, it was even nice to see Janae hit that three when she got fouled, then to step up to the free throw line and knock that free throw down. You know, when players get in a zone like that, and we've all seen players do that across college basketball, it, it's fun to sit back and watch. You know, it, wasn't, it wasn't just her, though. Our Deacon had 24, Lateria had 12, and then Amy has nine assists. Just kind of talk about the overall production. It just was a complete team effort. Well, and Vanessa with eight, going two for four from the three-point line, four rebounds. That's something I've talked to Vanessa a lot lately about. Vanessa's a very good rebounding guard, and we hadn't been getting that out of her. And I told her, I want you to make a very conscious effort of getting that done, and she did. So great production across the board, but we've got to continue this. You know, we've got a big, long road trip ahead of us in Florida against a, a very good FIU basketball team that's playing very, very well, and then against an FAU team that we're a little bit more familiar with, having already played them. But that doesn't make the game any easier at their place next Saturday afternoon. So we'll get prepared and, again, really spend some time and, and put some attention into trying to carry this momentum with us.
moving forward from this game, how much of a, of a teaching lesson can this game be? From the same point of, you know, they kept the honest all night. They yeah. kept going on, you know, many runs throughout the game, but they never got it under 11. Well, I, I think every game, every moment's a teaching moment. So I think we've just got to be smart as a coaching staff and take advantage of what this game can show us when we watch field and then get out on the practice court and try to improve in that. Just like I said, one-on-one -on -one defense. They said it, they admitted it right as soon as I walked in the locker room, one-on-one -on -one defense. We've got to get down and get busy working on that. And that's something that we started back when we started practice in the fall. So, you know, every moment provides a teaching opportunity. And um, I'm confident that these young ladies will come back into the practice gym and be ready to learn and be ready to improve so that we can move forward in the right direction. When we look at the stat sheet too, the bigger numbers, but you know, a couple of little things from other players. I mean, Chaney comes in and hits a couple of shots there in a row. I know her shot, her confidence, and then winds up with four assists and no turnovers. And then Jasmine only has two offensive rebounds, but I believe they both came on that one possession yeah. there late when they had got down about 10 or 11, and you got to get some of that out of that possession. The thing I think really helped Chaney tonight. Yes, she knocked down some shots. She was able to play on the floor with Amy on the floor with her, which I think is very, very important for her confidence right now because it just simply allows her to relax, to have a senior out on the floor with her that we can go to to put the ball in Amy's hands if we need to. But the other thing about Cheney that I was so proud of is, is there was about the three-minute mark, and we had the ball coming down the floor, and she says to me, we need to run such and such and get some time off the clock. And so we go to it, and that's the possession where we ended up with three shots, two offensive rebounds, one from Vanessa across our bench in the corner, one from Jasmine, ended up with the third shot, but we ended up spending almost a minute and 25 seconds on that one possession off of Cheney's suggestion on the bench right there. That's a point guard mentality. The thing I really like about Cheney and respect about her is she'll communicate. She'll communicate from the floor to me on the sideline. She'll communicate on the bench with me on the sideline. That's what's going to help our team get better, is, is that kind of focus and that kind of intensity. And you really want that out of your point guard position. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Coach.